That's one of the things that let you know you're getting older and why it sucks to get older because you think about things differently. Like right now, I have a, a couple of acute injuries. I'm not going to say how, how it happened, the gym, but, uh, <laughs> right? But my lower back is hurting a little bit and my shoulders are hurting a little bit, right? My neck is a little bit stiff, right? And I remember I didn't get this kind of pain when I was working out 30 years ago. I would do the same type of workout and then I would be a little bit stiff and then that would be it. It would not be a big deal. It would not be. Oh, you wouldn't make that sound. I never made this sound. I never made that. Well, okay, I made that sound, but there was usually a naked woman around. But I'm talking about just walking around the house, right? Where something starts to hurt out of nowhere. Right? Your shoulder's not hurting right now. Everything's good. Then you reach up to grab a plate. Not a problem. Now, as you're bringing your, the plate down out of the cabinet, oh, where'd that come from? And then when the arm gets a little lower, it's back to normal. What the heck is that? Your back is feeling fine. Everything's great. You just picked up something really heavy and you lift it with your knees. You lift it with your knees and you, you everything's fantastic. And there's no problem. You sit down on the couch, you turn on Netflix or whatever, and you're watching some crap and everything's great. Let me go. Oh, man, I can't believe I brought my sandwich to the table. Got my pickle, my sandwich, my chips. I forgot my soda. You get up out of the chair to get your soda. Oh, your lower back reminds you that you're not 20 years old anymore. Your lower back's like, oh, he's having a good day. Day. I can't let that happen. Gotta hurt him. Gotta hurt him. Oh, your lower back's a piece of crap, but it brings to you what I like to refer to as old guy pains. That's right. Right? As you head towards the refrigerator, your back's hurting, and then uh, it stops hurting. And you're looking there, you're sitting there, what, what, what was hurting? Well, I'm just glad it's not hurting anyone. Not a problem. You open the refrigerator, you use your left arm. Uh-oh, that's the arm with the bad shoulder. Oh, that hurts. But when you close the door, it doesn't hurt anymore. You walk back to sit in the chair. You sit back in the chair, gingerly hoping, hoping you won't hurt your back. Your back's fine. You go, let me see. You jump out of the chair. Ah, oh, my back's okay, right? You take the soda, you pick, put it to your mouth with your left hand. Not a problem. Okay, fantastic. Everything's great. Oh, pulled muscle in your left calf. You didn't even do anything. But your left calf goes, I need to be a part of this party. Y'all are all, all, all getting to hurt them. I got to get some of that myself, right? And you rub that big knot out of your left calf, right? And unfortunately, you have to use both of your hands, which means your left shoulder's like, ha, I, I'm going to assume this is an invite to the party for me. Yeah. And then your shoulder starts hurting. And you, because your calf is down there, you got to bend over to get it. And your lower back goes, hey, I'm back. I just had to go to take the little bathroom break. So now your arm's hurting. Your shoulder's hurting. Your back's hurting. And you're kind of squeezing this gigantic Charlie horse out of your left calf. Finally. The left calf calms down, right? It's like it left the party early because it had something else to do. And the lower back got a call from his wife. He's got to go back to the shoulder. The shoulder's single. He's going to hang around for a while and hurt you for a little while. And then eventually after a while, you're watching what's left of the movie and you forget about your shoulder and it stops hurting. Ooh. But that's what the old guy pains are. Like sometimes you'll see an old guy who's whatever your age is. And this guy's in the best shape in the world. He's got the body of somebody who's 26 years old. Six pack, quadruple pack, the sculpted packs with the arms, the thing and all of that crap. And the first thing you're thinking is he's on steroids. Well, guess what? Even if he is, he still looks better than you. You can't get in that kind of shape by just jumping in steroids. You still got to do the work. You still got to go to the gym, right? So stop hating. But you seen this guy jumping up on top of tires, something you haven't done since 1986, right? You see this guy running at full speed. When's the last time you ran at full speed? OK, that time one of your beers almost fell off the table when you popped it open. And guess what happened? That's right. You pulled a muscle in your left calf. Your shoulder started hurting. Your back started hurting. And for some reason, one of your buttocks cheeks started to hurt, too. You're like, how the heck? You're not even the buttock. Yeah, why is my buttocks cheek hurting? And the other buttocks cheek goes, oh, we're hurting them now. So now both of your buttocks cheeks are hurting. So your buttocks cheeks are hurting. Your lower back's hurting. Your shoulder's hurting. What the heck is that? <sighs> and you drink the beer too fast now you got brain freeze everything's hurting your teeth are hurting the brain freeze is hurting everything's hurting 
old guy pains. What the heck is going on? I remember when my grandnephew came over to visit. And I love the little guy, right? And I always play with the little guy, right? We run around the house. He does that thing where he pretends like he has a freeze ray and he freezes me. And for some reason, why does he always freeze me when I'm in the middle of walking someplace, like on my legs in the air or if I'm bending over to pick up something or if I'm some kind of awkward position? I'm starting to think that maybe my calf and my shoulder and my lower back texted him on his phone hey we'll give you some extra video games if you do something to your grand uncle what's that next time you go over there wait until he's in an awkward position and that's when you start playing the freeze ray game and don't let him off the hook in fact freeze him and then run into the other room or watch cartoons we'll give you two extra video games i'm wondering where he got those video games from dag nabbit but i'm playing the game with my my grandnephew And like I said, he freezes me in these awkward positions. And here's the thing. I think that my body parts, my shoulder, my lower back, my neck, my all of that crap, they don't hurt me in front of my grandnephew. They really don't. It's almost as if they're going, it's almost like they're gang members. Back in the day, if you watch those old gang movies, like a gang member would see a guy walking with his wife or walking with his kid or walking with somebody uh, who was innocent. And they go, no, no, guys. Put your guns down. We'll get them later. Because it was the code of the street back then, right? Nowadays, they just blow up the whole house. But we're talking about back then. And I'm starting to think maybe, maybe my body parts that were going to give me a hard time decided, decided, decided. No, he's with his grandnephew right now. Put the pain down. We'll get them later. Right? And I spend the whole day with my grandnephew and like an idiot, I'm sitting there going, man, I was doing some really strenuous stuff. I was playing wrestling with the little man. We were out in the backyard throwing stuff around, right? I was carrying him around on my shoulders all day. He's laughing. Pick me up, uncle. I'm walking around. He won't even let me put him down while I'm on the phone talking to people. He doesn't care because he's playing with a toy while holding the toy in his hand while I'm holding him in the air. And I'm thinking, ha, I'm back, baby. I still got it. (laughs) No, I don't. I should just be happy that I got a full head of hair and my you know what still works. You know what I'm saying? Man. His mother comes to get get the little boy. I take the little boy off my shoulders. I had fun. And I said, God, great. You had fun, right? She goes, she takes him. Okay, thanks for watching him. For, uh, no problem. Bring him over whenever you want. Just give me a heads up because I, I got to make sure I have like food for him because he doesn't want to eat the crap that I have to eat. Right, I'd have to get him like fish sticks and you know meatballs, all that kid crap, you know, extra fruit and all. I had to have make sure that I have that stocked in the house before he gets there, because then I'm gonna have to order that crap and it's gonna cost me more. And that's it. So, okay, I'll give you a heads up. Fantastic, that's great. And he leaves. And as I'm walking back up the steps and I see them drive away, I hear little voices. Right? And where are those little voices coming from? They're coming from my neck, my shoulder, my elbow, my kneecaps, my left calf, my right calf, calf. I'm hearing them. I'm trying to make out what they're saying. I can't make out what they're saying, but I can hear a couple of those words, a few of those words that we're gonna get him later. Get him good. We just gave him a break because his grandnephew was here, but he ain't here now. I'm like, oh, no. Would they be mean enough to wake me up in the middle of the night? Ow! Left calf locks up. Ow! You jump out of bed real quick. You turn around to the floor. You reach over to do to deal with the calf muscle, right? And as you're squeezing the calf muscles, ah, both your thumbs start to hurt. The back of your hands start to hurt. What the heck is this crap, right? Your lower back starts hurting again, right? Oh. Your neck starts to hurt because you were sleeping on a pillow the wrong way. Everything starts to hurt. The only thing that doesn't hurt right now is the thing that still works. Thank goodness. That's the only thing that ain't hurting. Okay, it did kind of hurt because I rolled over. I I went back on the bed, laid down, and rolled over on something, if you understand what I'm saying. And ah, I can't blame that on old days. That was just an accident, okay? That's not a big deal. But those old guy pains will sneak up on you. Right? It's one thing if you actually did something strenuous to cause the old guy pain.